Yo, what's going on with it once again, ladies and gentlemen, bros, women, fanboys, and fangirls, and as always, the Takas and Ikikamundis out there is the one, the only, of course, Mr. Nintendo Sony Free 2011, aka Meeting Wolverine. Of course, you guys are the rest of the intros and outros for this channel. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and all the other good stuff. And today, I'm just going to read half of this article, because more than likely, by the time this video comes out, it's going to be extremely irrelevant, number one. And number two, <laughs> you already know how I am with the video gaming industry news. Sometimes a little bit, I give people positive vibes, and other times, I'm a little bit of a salty son of a bitch. But anyways, yeah, I'm only going to half this article because you read that title right. I haven't <laughs> talked about this dude ever, but I'm going to get into it. So let's begin. So it says Microsoft wanted to bring back Xbox Live to Nintendo Switch. Microsoft is a company, I'm only going to read half of this article, by the way, from Nintendo Soups. Shout out to Iggy that made this. It's a company that makes the Xbox line of consoles and has announced the intentions of bringing Xbox Live to its new cross-platform development. Oh, that's weird, I don't know what the fuck that is. <clears throat> Platform to Nintendo Switch. If Microsoft succeeds in doing what it wants to do with the Nintendo Switch users, could soon access xbox live achievements social features and cross-platform features this will of course require nintendo's blessings first play fab a suite of back-end tools hopefully i said that right back-end tools are also leverage as a part of the packaging to help developers streamline making games for different platforms overall thoughts and opinions on this i'm not going to speak too much about it ah, i don't know what the hell i'm drooling drooling so much because it's not even that hot it's literally cloudy if you don't believe me check check that shit out fucking beautiful man <laughs> i'm actually enjoying it because by the time it's 120 plus degrees out here in fucking vegas shit, <laughs> it is gonna be fucking miserable i'm lucky i'm not living in any of you guys or some of you guys may or may not be living in chicago or philadelphia wisconsin wyoming even upstate new york like where i used to live that shit <laughs> it's a fuck ton cold of mess yeah um, the only two things i'm gonna say about this is that oh, man by this point, I'm not even surprised what Microsoft, Sony PlayStation Future, Sony PlayStation 5, and then uh, Xbox 2, Xbox One X2, who knows? <laughs> it could be Xbox 720 still instead of Xbox 2. They gotta come up with better title names. I said this on a thousand of my other Xbox, Microsoft videos. So Phil Spencer, hop to it, man. Chop, chop. <laughs> Seriously, I know I'm not a CEO billionaire of a multi-billion dollar company, like not Microsoft, but like the gaming division of Microsoft. And uh, yeah, that's all I got to say about that. Oh, the second thing I want to say about this is at this point, besides me not being surprised at whatever Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo do with each other, like, I feel like um, <laughs> my own personal opinion, because I heard it from Review Tech USA's channel, and I, oh my God, I don't know why the hell I highlight his channel so much, because some people I know they hate the fuck out of him. Others like me, you know, hey, he's a decent, chill dude. Even though I used to watch this other guy named Killer Comedy Illusion, and then he just took down all his videos. I don't know why. Maybe he got in trouble at his work or something. <laughs> Which sucks if he did. But yeah, to be honest with you, hey, it is what it is. This video would have been like 30 or 35, 40 minutes. I might make a second part to this as a conclusion. I don't know. Because the next topic I'm going to be getting into, um, I'm not going to say I relate with the dude on a, a lot of levels. I relate to him on a few levels, but not that many, per se. And um, <laughs> this guy named Gibby or Jibby, he talked about him for a while. This guy is older than I am. And he's like 37, 38-ish years old. So it is what it is. All right. So <laughs> I got to talk about this dude, man. I know so many other people I talk about it. But I remember when I was watching a reaction video to this one guy named... Um, which I usually watch only two people that are reactors. Which I used to watch this other guy named Brony Monster 44 a lot. When I was still in the MLP Brony community. community. But I'll get to that in a second. But <laughs> let me just switch this up a little bit. Oh, hold on. There we go. That's what I'm talking about right there. Um, yeah, so this guy. Huh, holy fucking hell. Let me get a drink of water first. Now it's starting to get warm whenever the sun pops out. I barely got like 19% of this thing, so. Ugh, here we go. Oh, this guy. Some of you people, well, actually, no, a lot of you people probably know this guy is. Oh, God. Kind of breaks my heart to see this shit happen, to be honest with you people, because. When I was watching a video on Tyre Magnus, I think he said, like, the most epic cringe, try not to cringe compilations. And I think this guy out of nowhere, Mr. Christian Chandler, better known as on the internet, Christian, 
again i'm having a mental breakdown last month i know this is some really really old ass news but i still want to talk about it i don't even know if it was last month or not either not either to be honest with you oh man but this dude i'm not gonna get too personal with it but i actually used to know somebody that was like chris chan in real life this was about eight and a half nine years ago tops I was during about my freshman year of community college at that particular point in my life and i'm not gonna it's crazy because he has the exact same name as him except um <laughs> he didn't get it legally changed to christian he actually had it as christopher <laughs> but his last name wasn't chandler his last name i'm gonna keep it as like a personal identity thing like you know for the safety of him because he had a really really mildly severe like <laughs> high functioning autism like this dude Mr. Christian Chandler right here. And um, to be honest with you, it, it, it sucks ass to see a human being like just get so broken down to the point where they're just miserable for the rest of their whole fucking lives, dude. Seriously. And a few ways I could relate to him, because I remember when I was in elementary school at that particular point in my life, because hey, I'm not the brightest person in my life <laughs> in this world. As most of you guys know, you already know I fuck up a few times on my words here and there, but oh man. I'm not gonna say I'm slow in the head like this dude, to be honest, because sometimes I used to like, I didn't get say, not per se, like got bullied per se. I did get bullied a lot in elementary school, but physically bullied. <laughs> That's a whole little thing from getting mentally and verbally abused. Because to be honest with you, it, it was not a fun fucking time. It was probably one of the worst points of my, my fucking life in elementary school. And I've talked about this a few times, I think March or April, I don't know if it's February. If not, it might be March or April when it's anti, Bullying Awareness Month. Nowadays, it's cyberbullying. But me, my own personal opinion, I just see that as a joke. For some of you guys, hey, it might not be no laughing matter. You know what? I understand where you're coming from. I get it. It's not a good time. Honestly, it is. It isn't. I remember, like, a lot of the documentaries I've been watching from this other dude. I forgot what his name was, but I'll leave the link in the description box down below. This video is probably not going on until March. But from what I've seen, this guy suffered a lot from trolls. He actually literally believed every single word these people were saying to this guy. I know this isn't brand new. There's like hundreds upon thousands, possibly millions of videos on this dude already. Um, Christopher Chandler. This is crazy. The way I found out about this dude, I'm not going to lie, because around 2009, maybe 2010 tops, about my freshman, sophomore year of um, community college at that time. <clears throat> Got to remember what I was going to say. At that particular point in my life, man oh my god <laughs> i'm not even gonna lie to you this shit was really really fucking sad but at the same time it was funny not to chris chandler but his dad his dad which i thought it was his grandfather the whole time robert chandler actually heard about who he was first even before i think it was like 2011 2012 when i first heard about this dude but i never did any research or investigation plus i'm not one of these people that are christorians i didn't even know what the fuck a christorian was till last week give or take when I first started watching about this dude. And it wasn't a good time. Honestly, it wasn't, man. <laughs> a lot of the shit he went through, it sucks. To be honest with you. Because I remember I had to take like the fucking small ass little bus like he did. And that shit was not fun. To be fucking honest with you. Especially being a fucking minority when I was living in upstate New York, man. That shit mentally fucking hit, hurt me, man. Honestly, it did. I gotta be 100% real with you guys on this. Another thing that really, really hurt me at that time, because I could kind of sort of relate to him. Oh, God. Is elementary, middle school? You know, hey, I was one of those desperate motherfuckers. I'm one of the girlfriend, too. I'm not going to fucking lie to you and <laughs> try to throw sugarcoat anything. I was one of those desperate-ass motherfuckers. So the only difference is I didn't, like, go to the further extent like he did. Especially in high school. Thank God. <laughs> I wasn't one of these soy boy asshole motherfuckers or incels, as they call them nowadays. That, that really, really was desperately need of, like, my beautiful, loving, sweet, our girlfriend, you know? I don't agree with that shit, man. Stay single as long as you fucking can. <laughs> Last time I was, like, with somebody was probably seven years ago. It's been a while. So, um, and it's, to be honest, it's a lot better to be single. My own personal opinion, that's my own personal choice. I'm not going to lie, because, thank God, when I was in community college, <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I was a very huge horn dog. And I've talked about this massive amounts of times on my channel. And the most women I ever had sex with, luckily, it was about 80 of them. And thank God I used a condom. I strapped up twice every time. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to say made love. It's usually one night stands with other chicks and stuff. Thank God I never caught any STDs or STIs or whatever they call them in this day and age. Oh, another thing I really, really want to say about this. Oh, 
I, was, I didn't even get any. <laughs> and it's not even a bit about getting vagina or pussy or anything like that. Sometimes it's just about one night stand. People just want to fuck and on to the next one. <laughs> no, granted, nowadays with the whole Me Too era movement, that's a big no, no, no. You, you're not allowed to do that. But fuck that shit. I do whatever the fuck I want, bro. <laughs> but on a really more solid, like, official note, sometimes, yeah, you know, it is what it is. But this guy, he had high, munch, functionally high definition. I functioning autism. Well, my point is, is like, yeah, I do feel sorry for him, but at the same time, he should never given, he should never fed the trolls, man. Honestly, and like I said before earlier, I heard about this dude's like father, which I thought it was his grandpa the whole time, Robert Chandler. I remember these soundboard pranks. I actually heard about him through that because I was listening to a lot of those during my freshman sophomore year of community college at the particular point in my life. Again, I can't stress that enough. <laughs> But man, he was a funny ass dude, honestly. And I think he passed away in 2011. Shh. That should be a fucking like, that's not an understatement. I know that's a fact. Because a lot of people, other people on the internet were saying that's true. And I, think, I even think they took pictures of his graveyard and all that. So rest in peace out, man. He sounded like a very honest, respectful, a very, very super loving guy, individual. I'm not even like a homosexual. That was another thing. I heard about this dude saying he was like, a homophobic person and a racist towards African Americans, and that's really, really fucked up. And to be honest with you, at that time, I'm not gonna lie, because um, majority of my bullies in elementary school, most of them were African American, and I hated black people for a little bit at that particular point in life. Once I came over here to Vegas, and I gotta be more like I'm opening up to you guys right now. So hopefully you, you freaking um <laughs> appreciate this very, very much. I don't say very much, but. I don't say it too often, but give it a like and comment, subscribe if you want to. I noticed my subscriber um, base is going up a little bit too after the Dragon Ball Super, or actually the Dragon Ball Z Project Z video that I did. Hopefully that wasn't clickbait to you guys, because I did give you the link to the description box down below for that. But let's get back to Chris Chandler, man. There's just so many fucking videos of this dude's like, life being absolutely miserable as shit, man. And what made it more cringy, he made a thing called, and a lot of people already know about it, like a Pikachu and Sonic fusion. I'm not sure if he got that from Dragon Ball Z or from some other thing per se. But to be honest with you again, it, it's not a fucking good look, man. I know Robert Chandler, has, he must have busted his ass in blood, sweat, and fucking tears raising this fucking grown man. Oh my God, that must hurt him to the fucking court. Was hurting him to the fucking court. And then I found out his mom, aka Robert Chandler's wife, Barbara, she was some psychotic weird bitch <laughs> that, um, in a way, it's kind of like the parents' fault. I gotta put blame on the parents with this one. And then God, <laughs> you know, granted, my parents weren't really the best in the world. I'm not gonna blame them for every single thing they did. Only thing I still hated at that time in my life, oh my God. That original time in my life when I was still living with them, the only thing that was miserable as fuck is that I couldn't watch certain movies and then I couldn't play certain video games that were fucking violent or gory or graphic or had a lot of profanity in it. And then that shit was miserable as hell to me. <laughs> That's why every time I went to high school, it was good for me. And so in a way, I kind of like see where he was coming from there. And then last but not least, <laughs> and this shit hurts me the most, knowing that he was a big fan of Pokemon, along with Yu-Gi-Oh! and um, Sonic. Because you guys know, I used to talk about Sonic occasionally on this channel. Not as much as I used to, but nowadays it's like I kind of keep it not really on the down low. It's just not that many things going on with Sonic except for that movie. And then I heard this dude went trans and it's, it's very like, this dude is really, really hypocritical, man. Honestly, this guy, he still needs fucking help. This Chris Chandler dude, uh, he is I'm not going to say he's a special snowflake, but this man, he needs serious dire help. And if, he's almost 40 years old, man. I know, granted, I'm 30, so he's a lot older than I am, but mentally he's not really high functioning up there you know granny he shouldn't be using that as a crutch because you know hey i'm not gonna say i had add or adhd because i used to take add adhd classes in middle school at the time and a little bit in high school and then i took the regular classes here and there hey it was hard for me to pick a few things up occasionally but i'm not gonna say i had like really really like severely i wasn't diagnosed with down syndrome or like autism thank god because if i was <laughs> I would not be living with my roommates and shit right now. <laughs> my life would probably have been a fuck ton of a lot worse. <laughs> I would have been in a world of pain. But that's all I got to say for now. Oh, one other thing I left out. 
The way he approached girls, man, that was really bad with Chris Chandler. And I honestly was. So man. That's why he got kicked out of convention so many times. Man, it hurts to see me do that, man. Or not to see me do that, but... Man. I don't even know what else to say about the dude, man. <laughs> he's not going to live it. He's living a real unhealthy life. He's eating McDonald's and Burger King all the time. And drinking Coca-Cola. That is a very, very bad, unhealthy, like... That's a very early grade for this man. And, um, it's going to be sad when the dude's gone, but it is what it is. He made his own choices in life. He's going to have to pay for it. And he got banned from the malls, too, for, like, physically, you know, what's it called? Trying to be, like, really, really, not slutty to women, but, like, hitting on girls too many times, man. And that's really, really bad luck, especially in this day and age. Dude, he wouldn't make it. He would not make it at all in the slightest. And the whole sign that you things with all these little comics that he made, it's fucking sad, dude. Honestly. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I thought my camera cut out. Yeah, it's really fucking sad, dude. Like I was saying before. Oh, man. I'm going to feel really, really bad. The second his mom passes away, Barbara Chandler, man. Lady, if you ever see this video, you should have fucking raised him more better. I'm not going to say that my mom was perfect, but sometimes at the time when I was living with them in middle school, when I was in high school, middle school and high school at that part of my life, <laughs> she was kind of a bitch occasionally. But I still learned to care about her, but not like put her on a fucking pedestal because I know she's a human. I'm not going to talk about them though because, you know, that's a very private matter at that point in my life. So, one other thing I got to point out before I do finish this video, I, I keep telling you I'm going to stop, but I'm going to keep going. Is that, uh, not only do you get banned by the malls, this dude, he's into a, like a lot of feces shit. I'm not going to say it because I don't want my channel to get like shut down or anything, but he, now you know what, fuck it, I'll say it. He used to put like dildos up his ass and shit. And that is extremely fucking disgusting. And it had feces and ice cream all over it. What kind of nasty crap is that? And then I heard like, oh my God. This is how you know he needs a nurse caretaker like immediately. A freaking sap. He needs to be in one of the crazy people's houses. In a mental insane asylum. Because he drinks his own freaking semen and puts it in freaking Fanta. It's orange juice. Not orange juice. He puts it in like those Fanta like um, those wanna Fanta. Don't you want it? You know that fucking commercial. He puts his own freaking jizz in the orange. Oh my god. That is freaking some nasty shit. That sounds like some really nasty ass like excrement porn from fucking Germany or whatever. Or worse. That's why this dude, he ain't gonna be living too long. There's no way. He can't even pay me a million billion dollars or like, all the freaking money in the world to ever have me do that shit. That is freaking downright fucking disgusting. Dude. But um, yeah. <laughs> Future rest in peace for that guy. You know, granted, hey, he already screwed up, man. <laughs> Thank God I never went on that road because if I would have, whew, if I would have really highly mildly autism, mildly functioning autism, would have sucked, you know? Honestly, would have. And it makes a lot of the autism community, along with even the LGBTQ community, and even people that are in the Pokemon Sonic community, it makes them look really bad for something that they like. <laughs> There's even other like fandom communities out there. They don't want, they don't want to have Chris Chandler to do, uh, what's it called? They don't want to have him have anything involved in any of their communities. And I can see why. And that's it. Links to the description box down below to the videos I was talking about. And links to the rest of the Microsoft article that I didn't cover. And that's it. Peace out once again, ladies and gentlemen, fanboys and fangirls. And as always, I'll talk to the communities out there. I'll see you when I see you guys every day after night. Wherever you are around the world. Stay tuned for future article session reviews, including anime manga news, internet news. Whew. I'm starting to get real tired. And of course, video game industry news, and that's it. Take it easy, stay safe, peace, humble, shout out, crowd, ladies and goodbye. I'll see you on the flip side. Take it easy, I'm gone, I'm out. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. I'm out of here.